Hello everybody, it is I, the Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Pizza Tower. Last time we pretty much we pretty much speed ran through the entirety of world uh, uh the entirety of world one and and by and by doing this you would unlock uh whoops, we passed this the blue outfit. Uh you want to wear for a bit. Uh the sage blue. Uh, unlocked by finishing all the floor one levels in less than an hour. Uh, and I think that's just, uh, I think going off of the time it took you to complete the level. Anyway, let's just pay Mr. Sticks here to give us the boss. Uh, so obviously Sage Blue is based off the Sage demo, because you were wearing blue in that one. And the levels you played in that one was Peace Escape, Ancient Cheese, and... Flood Zone Zone. Now, here's our first boss. Pepper Man. This guy... Is an artist. It's probably the the closest thing uh, to a Wario character you get in this game, just because of his move set. Like this is his move set similar to Wario's fight in Super Mario Land 2. Uh, now once now before I continue talking about this boss fight, because uh, this is the easiest boss in the game, by the way. Uh, of course, the, uh, the the first world boss is the easiest fight in this game, but uh. Uh, canonically, I believe Pizza Tower Guy, or, or McPay, is it, uh, which is the name he goes by now, uh, stated that, uh, Pepperman's, uh, voice would be, uh, the, he would have the voice of Comic Book Guy from The Simpsons. Anyway, each boss have a second phase. So, they, not only their health gets refilled, but their boss is, but their, but their actual boss fight, like, uh, their actual, uh, fight gets a bit more crazier. And, and, uh, in terms of Pepperman, his, uh, boss fight just becomes a bit more Toho-like. Honestly, if you just keep your cool and just focus on dealing with, uh, Pepperman, There we go, and wow, I was I was okay. I was not expecting the P rank uh, Pepper Man because uh, I mentioned in the in the first episode that I actually P ranked three levels. The first level, well, two levels in the balls. The first level in the last level I P ranked, and Pepper Man was the boss I P ranked. Well, you guys get well, you guys already get graced by this lovely uh, uh, rank three. Oh yeah, we'd love to see it. Zero damage. So, so I don't think I, I don't, I don't think I mentioned. Well, I think I mentioned all the ranks in the previous episode. So, but in case if I did not, uh, D C B A S P, uh, and levels P rank uh, requires you to, has the same requirements as S rank. Uh, only you have to maintain combo. Uh, for boss fights, it depends on how many times you got hit. So, P rank is so P rank is getting not getting hit once. Uh, so on, uh, and S rank is like getting hit once or twice, and yeah. Then again, Pepperman is the easiest boss in the game, so it's it's no surprise that I actually uh, that I actually uh, P rank them. Anyway, here's World 2. Uh, it's going to be mostly uh, Western. Like, uh, like World 1 had a more medieval theme. This one's more going to be like a Western theme. Right down to the boss fight, even. Anyway, uh... So, oh yeah, here's something, here's something funny you can do, and here's a free achievement. Uh, dash dance, uh, dash dance, uh, next to these, uh, rain dance totems, and you'll activate it. Uh, and you do get achievement for that, as you saw right there. I wish Shine Spark can actually break my box. Uh, 
excuse me, game, I pressed the button to, to do the, uh, the little shorter. Excuse you, I was talking here. God. There we go. Anyway, here's the first secret for this level. No! I... I did not get the... Eh, it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm... It's not like I was planning on s in this level anyway. Ah, well. What am I gonna do about it? Absolutely fucking nothing, that's what. Get out of here. Uh, weird thing about, uh... The yeah, item being grabbed in this game is that they sometimes just kind of change in between sca uh, screens. Don't know why. Oh yeah, one thing about the uh, the parry mechanic here. Oh, well, he missed. Uh, the par parrying can also uh, reflect projectiles. Anyway, here's our next transformation. Uh, fire mouth, uh, I, think it's, I think it's called fire mouth uh, Pepino. So, you get a high jump. And you get a little air dash. Now, obviously, now whenever when you have a transformation, you have to you have to find a piece of poke to uh, to uh, get rid of the transformation. Now, I mentioned that uh, par if I don't now I don't remember if I just said said this or not, but uh, you can parry projectiles and reflect them back. God, I hate these, uh, rain-dancing, uh, assholes. Anyway, that's thank you very much. Uh, killing enemies that are constantly spawn from the spawner doesn't increase your combo, by the way, so you cannot cheese, uh, cheese that. However, it is nice enough to refill your, uh, combo meter. Anyway, let's grab Jerome. And let's just skedaddle. Uh, one, oh yeah, another thing I should mention, uh, getting hit while in transformation will also revert you back to your normal form. So, be careful. Because sometimes you'll get hit, uh, before you are, uh, no longer needed. Or like, like when you still need a transformation. Anyway, anyway, here's some cows. Uh, I'm not going for the achievement. I don't have it yet, but I would rather get the achievement on my, uh, on my uh, personal uh, save file. Well, yeah, run to the cows. Uh, they kick you. Simple as that. Now with fire mouth, you can only break. Fire mouth is the only way you can break TNT. So it's it's uh, advisable if you don't get hit at all during this. Now there's a secret here that requires you to. Uh, Avoid these cows. Now, luckily, it's very simple. Now, let's see if I can do this first try. Oh yeah. And a desert isn't uh, isn't completed without UFOs, apparently. Uh, if you're going for the... So, there's an achievement in this game to, uh... Or this level specifically, to avoid getting hit by every single cow on the level. Which is honestly really difficult. Uh... If you're trying to avoid a cow, your best bet is to try and jump over them. Now, obviously, if you're mock running, uh... You don't want to go too fast, because then you won't be able to react. But, uh, if you're jumping over... Like, if they're... If they're like not in your way, they're very easy to uh, avoid. But if they're ones, but if they're ones like that, doing the uppercut is definitely a uh, a legitimately good way to uh, to avoid uh, getting hit by them. Anyway, uh, we have to get the other two toppings during pizza time. Anyway, get out of your filler job. 
Oh yeah, by the way, the pillar, uh, uh, the pillar's name is John, by the way. This is important later, for later, something later on. But I won't reveal it. God damn it. Get out of here. He throws another one, really? Man. I didn't think I didn't I didn't think he would just throw another one as soon as I parry the uh How man, how did I do do this the first first time I played through this level and not get hit by any of those uh uh those spicy wings? What are you looking at? Uh before I forget, because I definitely for, forgot the uh, in the first in the first one play take. Uh, the secret treasure's up here. Very easy. You can miss this very easily. Like the one in the uh, piece of game. Anyway, there's a cow here. Oh yeah, fun fact. Gustavo, your, uh, your chef friend, uh, that's joining you, joining you on, on your adventure. Also changes, uh, clothes based on the color you're, you're using. So that's a pretty so that's pretty neat. Hey ready. This time we're doing the opposite instead of uh avoiding the uh the uh the fried chicken guy. Uh you have to avoid the cow. God, you have to shine spark there. I don't, I don't care. I don't care that these things fall through jumping. I'm still gonna call it shine spark because that's what it is. Really, it's just a shine. It's just the uh, the Metroid shine spark. Anyway, let's get out of here. Also, I like how when you're uh, uh, turning while. Uh, uh, Peppino realizes that he's no longer uh, <clears throat> standing on, on like on like solid ground or something like that. Anyway, there we go. Well, that's that level done. Now, we could technically go uh, to Mr. Sick and fight the balls, but we're, but we're gonna wait for that. Uh, also, remember Gustavo? Yeah, he's fighting that rat. Uh, no, let me go find the, uh, the clothing drawer. I think it's down here. Yep. Uh, let's a different color. Uh, unfunny Cook. So, to get this color, you have to get to the Unfunny, uh, you have to end your combo on Unfunny, which is 75 to whatever number. Also, this is a really good level here. Just the music, the app, the atmosphere, the escape sequence, everything is really good about this, uh, this level here. And, oh, oh, and you get, and you, and you get to surf on, uh, on corpses. That's another uh, good plus about that. Also, the mini Johns are here, so uh, be careful about that. They are not the friendliest guys. Oh, I missed one. Nah, it wasn't like I was going for all of them anyway. They sound like chickens. Also, here's this level's gimmick. Uh, you died! You're no longer dead. So yeah, so you will be switching from dead to not dead. Get out of here, Johns. No one likes you. I 
I don't, I don't know what else to say here. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kind of vibing to the music. Anyway, drones right here. Uh, and the generous Volta is all is in another really, uh, really mystical spot. Anyway, another gimmick with this ghost is uh, you have to collect these uh, these ghost pets. Get the joke. Uh, and you just start moving fast and be able to break ghost blocks. I also like uh, cheese graders being the thing that you can uh, phase through. That's, a, that's, that's something pretty clever. That's another pretty clever thing. Oh, you can't kill them yet. Maybe if I grab... Oh, hold on, I think I'm missing. Yep. There we go, get out of here. No one likes you, Johns. I only like the Pillar Johns. Uh, uh, a, a special type of John that appears in this game's ending. Good ending. That's all I'm gonna say. You'll see what I, you'll see what I mean. Alright, now weirdly you, now fortunately you just go back to being regular demon after the, uh, after that, but at, at the very least, uh, you become, you automatically get the, uh, the, uh, three, uh, three ghost peppers, so you, so you can actually go back to, uh, going up to speed. Anyway, and here's the end of Again, a very hidden spot that is very easy to miss if you're not, uh, if you're not actively looking for it or just, or just aren't paying attention. Anyway, uh, killing, killing Carlo John turns us into a ghost. Oh, hold up, get back here. I want you dead. Oh, oh god. We spooked him so hard he exploded. That wasn't my intention at all. Uh, anyway, and here's a, and here's another problem for, for this escape. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pillar Jump was not... They did not like the fact that we killed him, so, uh... He wants us dead. Anyway, our third secret is in here, by the way. And, uh... Ghost John... Uh, follows us here. This was not the way to go, huh? Fuck you, Mini John. Fuck you again. And this is it. This is why Mini Johns are the most annoying enemies in this game because they'll show up, punch you, and the knockback is kind of ridiculous. There is an achievement for this level that I actually ended up getting in the original take. Uh, in the original Let's Play take. Uh, I actually end up getting the achievement, just not unintentionally. But there's an achievement for this level to not get hit by Ghost John at all. Now, obviously, that was ruined because uh, a few mini Johns uh, just had to punch me. I don't know what I did to them, but uh, you know what? Those mini Johns need an attitude adjustment. Yep. Yep. So, we're just gonna continue avoiding uh, Ghost John here to the best of our ability. However, being where a ghost, you don't have to worry about really getting hit. Anyway, wanna, 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 wanna have an easy, a very easy achievement? Missed it. There we go. Uh, yeah, just, just ride on all the corpses, and that's how you get that one. 
Anyway, luckily Ghost John will not follow us uh, here. Anyway, let's just complete that level. And move on with our lives. Meanwhile, Gustavo is still fighting that rat. Master Winter would never have stopped fighting. Uh, let's change your color to another fun color. Uh, we're going to save green for later. Uh, let's go with red. Uh, it looks more orange to me, but... But, nope, it apparently is red. Uh, it's actually... I thought it was red as Pepperman here. Also, Pepperman is not happy with us. Sucks to be him. Oh my god, what the chicken! So yeah, uh... Yeah, so more the chicken. Uh, popular character from the popular PS1 game, uh, Mort the chicken. Now, it's not really popular, but, uh... Now, now, I know a lot of you guys, uh... A lot of you nerds in the comments are going to go like, Uh, but you know what you mean, I guess? Mort the chicken's not popular, okay? I mean, if Mort was not popular, then how is he in Pizza Tower? Okay, joke aside, uh, Morton Chicken's inclusion was a joke. Like, well, half joke, half serious. Uh, like, uh, Big Pig wanted, uh, wanted to see if, uh, if they could use, uh, Morton Chicken. So, uh, so they asked, so they asked, uh, what's his name, uh, well, I don't remember the creator of Morton Chicken, but they asked him if, uh, if they could use Morton Chicken in their game. And and, and, the, and the guy was perfectly fine with it without, without needing to pay royalties to use uh, more chicken. Oh god, my eyes, my eyes are burning. Oh, I think I forgot to blink again. Oh, I I need I need to remember to do that. Anyway, here's a secret. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? Oh, I oh I missed the space the space robot dude. Although I will although I will say I don't really like the ending designs too much uh in uh in this level. Uh, well, except for the potatoes. I'm fine with the potatoes, but, uh... Yeah. Anyway, here's the man himself! Mort the Chicken! Uh, yeah, so you can attack upwards, you can attack sideways. You get a second, you get a second jump. Uh, you have to get rid of those things, uh... Ooh. Hey, I did it! First try. Uh, just you want to you want to you guys want a free achievement? There you go. Find the mythical Mort cube. There we go. Also, I find it weird that now now I get now I, I'm wondering if they just kept the pizza poke to get rid of all the transformations just because it would have been easier. But personally, I. Honestly, I feel like some of the original uh, ways to get rid of the transformations made a lot more sense. Like, like have like, like what? You need to get exercised uh, to get rid of uh, Morton Chicken. Because originally Morton Chicken, you got rid of Morton Chicken by. Uh, you originally got rid of him by uh, by just dropping him off at uh, at at some uh, bird seed. Bird feed. Shit. 
there's an achievement to not get hit at all while I haven't worked the chicken. Obviously, I failed that, but... I mean, again, I'm not really going for all the achievements. But I'll try and do it when I can. Also... There's a secret right here. A uh, good way to tell if there's a... If you're trying to look for the secrets... A good way to find them is to see if there's an eye on the wall. That's that's a really good indicator for that. Anyway, let's run up here. You know what? It, it's a lot easier to just do that. Anyway, let's just Roy Pillar John and let's get at all. Get rid of that double block. You know, guys, what? Here's another uh, pre cheat. Uh, killing, killing three or more enemies uh, with the super taunt uh, that are in un unreachable areas. They wouldn't be able to kill them otherwise. What up? Asshole. Whatever. We don't need. We don't need more to chicken. And that's all the secrets for this level. Ugh. Sorry if I'm a bit stuffy, uh, uh to my folks. Well, hot well. Well, I've been, well, I've recorded the first and second episode back to back, and I'll probably do the third and fourth one, who knows? It is like 120 at night, though, so I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm a bit stuck at night. So, yeah, it's not, re not really my problem, though. And, uh, unfortunately, folks, that's going to be it for today's episode because I'm not going to have enough time to be able to, uh, do the next level. So, with that in mind, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys, uh, if you guys are liking the, the series so far, please consider subscribing. I would really, I would really appreciate it. I hope the channel grow. Uh, I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we'll be... Completing up the rest of uh, floor two and going up to floor three. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.